Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing my coloring book collection. Um, I actually filmed this a, a while ago, months and months ago, but I didn't like how it turned out and I was filming it in parts and then um, one of the parts ended up being shorter than I wanted or expected and then I was going to put it together with the third part and then yeah. it's a whole thing. I just didn't like how it turned out. I didn't like how I did it. So I'm going to try it again. Plus I've gotten more coloring books since I filmed it. Um, so I'm just going to do one long video. And that's just how it's going to be. So I actually have a giant stack of coloring books that's been sitting on my desk four months because it's driving me crazy but it's here because um this was going to be the third part of the video so I'm just going to start with this stack and it's not going to be in any particular order I don't have I don't think I have everything super organized right now um but you know we're just going to go through it so this is 50 autumn miniatures by Camellia Angel Kova I think I think this might be no I might have one more book by her I'm not sure sorry if I just stuck my head in the frame but I was looking at my stack um so I have a lot of coloring books let me look at my spreadsheet I have a spreadsheet with all my coloring books on it so that I don't actually accidentally buy doubles Let's see first of all so I have on my spreadsheet though I have my completed coloring books like mixed in with my uncompleted ones just so that I can still go back and you know make sure I don't buy a duplicate um so let's see I have one three I have 147 incomplete coloring books that is currently untrue though because I haven't marked off some of the other ones that I finished so it's probably more like 143 ish that are unfinished anyway that's a lot of coloring books not the most I'm sure but it's a lot let's see Camellia Angel Kova I have one other coloring book by her. I have 50 ocean miniatures or something. But anyway, I'm not going to go into too much detail about all of these. Um, if I have colored in them, I will show you the pages that I've colored, but I haven't touched this one yet. So there's that. And I'm literally just going to toss them into a pile on the floor. Because these need to be put away anyway. This is Vampire Coloring, Vampire's Coloring Book. Um, if you know who this is by, I can never remember who this is by. And the name, as far as I know, is nowhere in here. I have not been able to find it anywhere. So I don't know their name. Yeah, it's this really gets on my nerves about coloring books. Because I'm like, well, I've got to go back and, you know, on the listing and figure out who it's from and everything. But whatever, I have this coloring book. Um, I have Creative Haven Autumn Charm. Uh, I haven't colored anything in this one. I just picked this one up from Walmart recently and it is super cute. This one's by Teresa Goodridge. This is Nightmare Before Christmas Stained Glass Coloring Book. I think this is another one where it doesn't say who the artist is yeah it doesn't say but I actually have a like a cutting error in mine but I think I'm probably just gonna go actually maybe I'll do it right now I'll just take some scissors and I can fix this right up Let's see. 
there. Almost. There we go. Look, the corner is bent, but the page is fixed now. I'm I'm not gonna. I know some people would probably um, contact Amazon and have their books switched out for that, but that was such an easy fix, and the corner being bent is not the end of the world. So. I'm not going to complain about that, um, but yes, uh, my husband bought this one for me. I don't remember. I don't think I picked this one out. I think he found this one, but it's Nightmare Before Christmas stained glass coloring book. Did I say that already? Well, I have that. This is going to be a very long video. I have the Bob Ross Paint with Water, Paint Your Way to a Mellow Mood. Um, I actually have two copies of this. I really, this, oh, this has more pages in it than I remember. But I really want to, um, do this. I had, or I have, a, um, paint with water coloring book, but it's all Halloween. I painted the entire book in one day. Now that I'm saying it out loud, that sounds like a manic episode, <laughs> but I colored, or I painted the entire thing in one day. I was just, you know, I was having a lot of fun, and I was like, I want to do it all, and I love, I love, love, love how it looks. This is cool. It shows you the, um, the original paintings that were in here and everything, or that, that are in here. These are the original versions of them. But I have two of these, so I actually wouldn't mind doing one of these like super fast and then taking my time with the other one but these paint with water things i'm gonna i'm gonna need more of these because they turn out so cool and i love the crinkliness of like paper that's like been wet and now it's dry do you know what i mean like i don't mind that it puffs it up and makes it crinkly i love it so I actually have two of those. And then I have Pastel Goth Cute and Creepy Coloring Book. Does this one say who it's by? Of course not. But I mean, you, these are from Amazon. So you can search the titles and find them pretty easily. Um, this coloring book is really weird. And I know I'm not the only one that this has happened to. But there's literally like almost half of this book maybe like a third of the book is all blank pages and it's not missing any images like it has all the images it's supposed to have but it's just got a huge chunk of blank pages back here I don't know what that's about I'm not sure if the person who made this coloring book like just didn't I don't know submit the images correctly or choose the right number of pages I don't know but I don't think it's a misprint on Amazon's part because all the images that are supposed to be there are there so I don't really know what's happening but I have that and then I have creepy kawaii pastel goth coloring book again I don't know who this is by it's by the same person or company or whatever as the last one but this one doesn't have that um that issue with all the pages in the back so maybe it is Amazon's fault who knows I have this one this is uh collector's edition coloring book Margaritaville it's five o'clock somewhere and it actually comes with um a dvd and it has like relaxing um like beach scenes and like you can listen to the ocean and stuff while you color I just think that's kind of funny I, I like it though and then in here you've got some um like poster type pages and then there's the coloring page there underneath so there's another like little poster type thing and I think was there a version that you could color for this one I don't know oh it's no I'm not sure but they're cute there's a lot of sharks in here sharks and parrots I should probably pull these out because I could use those for something else so there's that nothing colored in it yet 
a, most of my coloring books I'm pretty sure are not colored in yet which you know is something I'm trying to work on this is the tattoo coloring book by Mega Munden love 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 this coloring book it's it's beautiful I just hmm, I'm honestly kind of like afraid to color in this not not really afraid just a little intimidated because it, I don't want to ruin it it's just so beautiful and it also comes with posters in the middle which is really cool I super appreciate that and then I have the second one which is the tattoo flash coloring book also by Mega Mundan includes two sticker flash sheets and two pull-out posters so this one comes with stickers which if you know me at all you know I am all about that sticker life and the stickers are here in the back and I should probably pull these out and use them but I just can't bring myself to do it yet so they're in here for now nothing colored in there yet this is uh, day of the dead coloring book design originals by the artist is Thania McArdle I probably did not say that correctly but um, again nothing colored in here but it's cute And there are some like already colored images that you can look at in the front. This is adult coloring book, Chibi Horror by Jade Summer. I I don't know why I read the adult coloring book thing. That's not necessary. But this is Chibi Horror by Jade Summer. What's this? Okay. Uh, nothing done in here. So I decided that. Uh, if you watch, hmm, I wouldn't have uploaded it yet, but it should be up before this video. Um, my September completed coloring pages. When I went over the books that I was going to be picking out for October, I had a really tough decision or tough time deciding between um, like pausing my goal of using up the coloring books that I'm not a big fan of and the supplies I'm not a big fan of and just coloring in my like spookier more uh Halloweeny themed coloring books or continuing with my goal so that I can work on getting coloring books out and I decided to just continue with my goal so unfortunately um these are going to be neglected for a little bit longer um but that's okay because it, it's paper it's not gonna go bad so it's fine but I have not colored anything in there yet it's a little sad this is cute witches by Jade Summer I guess they are a little bit organized not like super super organized though um I'm gonna try and go a little quicker this is coloring book cafe witch coloring book if there are any of these that you want a flip through of, go ahead and let me know. Um, some of them have flip throughs already. Not all of them. This is The Beauty of Horror 3 by Alan Roberts's Haunted Playgrounds. Are they all Haunted Playgrounds? No. So this is like the carnival themed one, which I love this page. I just I think these are like as creepy and and like spooky as a lot of them are. I think it's cute. <laughs> so. This is the original Beauty of Horror by Alan Robert. Kawaii Christmas by Jade Summer. Um, Beauty of Horror, Ghosts of Christmas, and I actually have colored a little bit in this one. I believe it's a whip, but yeah, this one. Merry Creepmas. I mean, I'm almost done with this. I really should just finish that, but 
I have not yet. Disney Dreams Collection. This is the Thomas Kincaid coloring book um, where it's got like the original on one side and the line art on the other. Art of Coloring Disney Villains. 100 images to inspire creativity and relaxation. I love the heftiness of this. Edgar. Oh. I love the heftiness of um, the cover on this. Crayola coloring book, Uni Creatures. Day of the Dead Advanced Coloring Book by Benden. I have this in my coloring books, but I don't know. It's not really a coloring book. It's more like an activity book, I guess. This is uh, Brain Games Nanograms. I should probably try and finish that up too. I have a lot left in it though. Okay, this is totally off topic and has nothing to do with coloring books, but my, my husband just texted me saying how do you guys how do you feel about Dollar Tree being more than a dollar and I'm, I'm mentioning this because I think it's a funny coincidence that he said something to me because I just went to the Dollar Tree yesterday and when I was checking out one of the ladies in front of me was asking the cashier oh um oh are you guys going to be changing your prices to be more than a dollar and the cashier was like oh well nobody really knows right now but I was like oh that's really weird and I guess it's a thing I guess they're um, thinking about changing their prices, which I'm not a fan of. <laughs> Obviously nobody wants to pay, nobody wants to start paying more for the same thing, but I don't know. I'm not a fan. So, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is Mystical Cats in Secret Places, a cat lover's coloring book. Um, the illustrator is Honoel. And this is by Waves of Color. Here's the other Camellia Angel Cova book. This is 50 Ocean Miniatures. Uh, Nickelodeon The Splat, Coloring the 90s. I actually found this at Five Below, and I'm super excited about it. Look, Reptar! I love Reptar. He's so cute. Tentacle Kitty coloring book. The Dr. Seuss coloring book. Romantic Country, a fantasy coloring book. The Land of Cocot, the Land of Beautiful Towering Castles. This is by Erie. Oh, it includes an interactive pull-out poster. I haven't colored anything in here yet. Um, but I really love this book. It's so magical. It's so beautiful. Gnomes in the Neighborhood. This is a Zendoodle coloring book, um, by the brand Zendoodle. Uh, an artist coloring book by Denise Klett. I don't know. Typically, I'm not a fan of the books that Zendoodle comes out with, but I thought this one was really cute. It's not super Zendoodly. Um, so, I have that. Sorry, hopefully I remember to cut out that chunk of time. If I didn't, I apologize. This is Circle of Life, A Coloring Journey by Mel Melpomeni Chatsipung nope can't do it I'm sorry I'm going to butcher that super hard this cover is so gorgeous though like the foil on the cover yes have not colored anything in here though because I'm terrible my little pony Crayola coloring book I went through a a phase not that long ago where I was just buying all the Crayola coloring books. I don't know why. They're cute though. Um, this is Crayola Frozen coloring book. 
Crayola Art with Edge Sugar Skulls Brain Candy. Um, these ones, the Art with Edge, are the like the nicer paper and the single sided images, which I think are meant to be like their like older kid coloring books. Uni Creatures coloring book by Crayola. Once Upon a Time, a fairy tale coloring book by Crayola. And then Epic Book of Awesome by Crayola. Okay, I've got The Beauty of Horror by Alan Robert Tarot. This is, um, so he's got two versions. He's got the tarot that's like a typical tarot deck. It's already colored and everything for you. This one is the Color It Yourself version. These cards are gigantic, but they are so cool. So that's the back. And I cannot wait to color these. I just think it's going to be so fun. I love them so much. I just really want to be able to do these for justice. But like, they're beautiful. So I do have this within my coloring books. Because I do need to color it. Okay, I've made myself another stack. Okay. So this is Color Me Jane, a Jane Austen coloring book by Jackie Oakley. Comes with eight col colored posters. I think this might be... I think this might be why this was discounted because I'm pretty sure somebody stole this didn't come with any posters or anything so nothing's perforated so yeah I'm thinking that the posters were probably stolen and that might be why this was on the discount cart but whatever I still like it clearly can still color in it so not a big deal this was actually my one of my 2020 planners why did I say planners so weird my planners but I didn't uh, use it as much as I wanted to because, you know, the craziness that ensued in 2020. But I do want to keep it because I do still want to color all of the coloring elements. So I'm keeping it for that reason. I have not colored anything in it yet, though. Colored Llamas coloring book. Uh, no clue who this is by. Vision Street is the publishing company and it's I'm pretty sure my husband found this at the Dollar Tree but it's like you know super thin newspapery paper like those other coloring books I just finished so I'll probably be having to add this you know what I need to do I need to go through all of my coloring books and I need to pick out like I don't know I don't want to set a number because I don't know how many there's going to be but I need to pick out all of the coloring books that are like this where I don't want to just get rid of it because I know uh, I can enjoy coloring it but it's like probably going to be a pain in the butt because of the paper quality or it's just not like my style or anything like my preferred style and that I can just color it super quickly and get it out of my collection but still have the satisfaction of having you know used up a coloring book and the enjoyment of actually coloring and blah, blah blah so I need to go and pick out all of the coloring books in my collection that are like that so that uh, I can have them all in one place and just grab them as I need to I need to do that this is the mythographic dream garden this one's by Fabiana Atanasio I haven't colored anything in any of these this is kind of crazy oh have I no I'm gonna take that off I marked that because I wanted to color that page but I didn't um this is mythographic enchanted castles again by Fabiana Atanasio I have some other mythographic book oh they're down here okay 
like I said, things are not in order. This is the Assassin's Creed, the official coloring book. Um, I'm not sure. So this by Insight Editions is maybe the publishing company. Oh, yeah. Okay. But it's pretty cool. Uh, this is the Crayola Art with Edge Zombie Days. <laughs> I love zombies. Manga to the Max Drawing and Coloring Book Warriors. Um, so this coloring book is really cool because it gives you the page to color, but then um, on the back it gives you information about the the character and their their weapons and everything so it's really cool and then in the front it has some already colored versions of the images this is pastel dreams color i need to um probably remove those this is pastel dreams imagine the possibilities by pop color i guess um Next is Zen Patterns and Designs Coloring for Everyone, a fun anti-stress coloring book. This is by Skyhorse Publishing. Don't know if it has an artist on here. No. No. Well, this is probably another, definitely another one I can add to um, the stack of coloring books um that I just want to use up I should probably put these scissors away now that I use them huh this is modern witch tarot coloring book by Lisa sterile sterile I don't know but it's kind of like a coloring book slash workbook in one the happy hour art journal whimsical and wild i have this with my coloring books but it's not really a coloring book it's an art journal i should probably set this as actually no i am going to set this aside that's what i'm going to do i'm going to set that aside it's still going to i'm still going to have it in my coloring book inventory and it'll still count as a coloring book done when i'm done with it but i want to work on that so i'm going to put it off to the side uh the wonder the wondrous workings of science and nature coloring book um let's see. Uh Rach this is by Rachel Ignatov Ig Ignatovsky. I don't know. But these are really cool. I I like it. Totally 90s coloring book by Christina Haber ha Habergern? Habergern? Yeah. <laughs> Look at the cute little Tamagotchi. Love it. Fashion from head to toe. Um, illustrated by Becca Statlander. My um, my stack's getting a little wobbly. Wonderland, a coloring book inspired by Alice's Adventures by Emily Shen. What's, what's crazier than my giant stack next to me is the fact that only one of those was colored in at all. Only one of the coloring books I've shown you so far had any work done in it, and it was only half done. So, it's a problem. <laughs> Wonders of the Sea by Claire Laud and Aureli Castex. Mysterious Planets by Icono. Mythographic Odyssey by Joseph Kadambang. 
Mythographic Animals by Joseph Kadambang. I think they just came out with another mythographic book. I think. And Mythographic Frozen Fantasies by Fabiana Atanasio. The Tarot Coloring Book. I just got this one for my birthday this year. Awesome. Um, by Teresa Reed. Coast to Coast, 48 Regional Scenes to Color by Cynthia Silvery. And Color of the Classics, The Wizard of Oz by J. Un Lee. Jai, Jai Un Lee? I don't know. I can't pronounce that. So that this stack, I'm sitting in a chair. This stack of coloring books is now almost up to my waist. Um, and very wobbly. That's not embarrassing at all. This is Tattoo Art Coloring Book. Ink Designs for Inner Peace. And this is by Lark. That must be the publishing. Yeah, Lark Crafts. Um, this can definitely go in the, uh, the stack of coloring books that I wouldn't mind just getting through and getting out of my collection. Um, maybe I should just start making a separate stack for those right now. I'm going to have to go back through this whole other giant waist tall stack I have, but at least I can get a head start on this. Let's see. Ooh, you're gonna hear a lot of smacking because I'm throwing things on the floor, so I apologize. Kaleidoscope Etch Art Creations, Wild Animals, another thing that I could just get through and get out of my collection. Um, I've, I've only done that much of one of them. I started the, what is this, a, a peacock, a swan? A swan I think I'm not really sure it looks like a swan peacock thing but I started it and it's cool but it's just you know it's not my favorite thing so I'm just gonna do them get through them call it a day Tokidoki coloring book probably another one I can just color and get out um actually apparently I started coloring this I don't remember doing that and I don't know why I only did half the face and called it good I really don't know what I was thinking there was that even me that colored in that it had to be I don't remember doing that though that's very odd well apparently does that count as a whip <laughs> I don't know Coloring animal mandalas. Mm. Yeah, this can probably go in that stack too. This is by Wendy Parasol. I have two of these because my husband got me one, forgot he got it for me, and got me another one. So, this is Cute Coloring by Bookoli. Comes with some colored, pen colory? colored pencils in it. Um, some of it's coloring. It's mostly like an activity book thing though. So I might do one. It comes with stickers though, which is adorable. I might do one as like the activities and stuff and turn one into like an art journal or I might, I don't know what I'm gonna do with these. I really don't know, but I need to figure something out because I have two and I, I don't need to. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. We'll figure it out. Ooh, I'm sorry. Sorry for the loudness. Okay. Uh, this is Kaleidoscope Coloring Too Cute. I mean, it is adorable. And I do appreciate that it is not as detailed as the smaller ones. 
it doesn't have as much like z it really doesn't have any really like zen doodly type of bits with tons of details and like <laughs> so I could probably color this one pretty quickly um I would be interested in just getting through this I have too many coloring books that are ones that I just want to get through but are you serious I have a second one no don't do this to me don't do this to me I just no universe why it has a different cover but it's the exact same images why it's the exact same oh no 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 it has some different images but like the first half of the book every single one of those is in 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 this one what it what that's in there that's in there that's in there that's in there so this right here this chunk of the book is this book right here and then the rest is other images oh my god I'm actually going to cry right now it's okay it's okay I don't have to color this one right now I can deal with this and I can do some other ones first but I just finished this coloring book I'm like maybe I'm being dramatic but I actually feel like crying right now <laughs> I've spent so much time I colored this entire color almost the entire coloring book in one month um I worked really hard on getting a lot of pages done in here and I got a little bit burnt out on this book so that's why I feel like crying it's okay it's okay I'll survive it's all right this is tribal karma by pap leisure i guess uh, that's gonna go in the use it up pile okay now i have kaleidoscope coloring kawaii this is my second one of this um i finished I had two of these. I finished one already. So again, another duplicate. I'm a little overwhelmed, but it's okay. It's all right. This is Colorama Inspiration, Angels, Animals, Nature, and More. I'm all these like cheapy coloring books are ones that I just want to just want to use up. I've got that. I've got Colorama coloring book, Flowers, Paisley, Stained Glass, and more. Look how thick that book is, and the images are just not my thing. So, the used up pile. Sketch what? A doodling, sketching, and coloring book by. Does it say who it's by? No, Hinkler. It's by Hinkler Books. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to use this one as an art journal because these types of books are just not my thing. The ones that have like activities and stuff in them, it's just not my favorite. So, yeah. I'm thinking I might end up coloring the coloring pages like like that but then I don't know maybe not maybe I'll just do the whole thing as a art journal either way I, this is gonna go and use it up pile oh a lot of these are gonna be going in there so I don't know this is tribal animals by art zone berries and doodly use it up I use it up pile I'm literally just throwing I'm literally just throwing them in a spot. I don't, I don't know. 
Color Therapy, the anti-stress adult coloring book. Who is this by? Oh, I colored a page in here. I colored that page. This was one of the first coloring books I ever got. Pretty sure my husband got this for me. Um, this was back... This was back when like Zen Doodle coloring books were the thing. Like it was very hard to find coloring books that were not Zen Doodle, Zen Doodly, or patterns or something. Um, so yeah, some of the, a couple of these images are cute. Oh, I guess I colored down. I down's a whip. I guess again, very long ago, with my um. Stetler Triplus Fine Liners, which were one of the first uh, coloring supplies that I got as well. Kaleidoscope, Spectacular Patterns, and more. Can you guess where that's going? Simple 123 Color and Frame Seasons by New Seasons. Um. cute. It's only two Halloween pages. What? That's gonna go in the use it up pile. Ooh, next are my Japanese coloring books and none of these are going in the use it up pile because I love all of them and I want to take my time and do them justice. Look at that double page spread, Goku and Beerus. <sighs> Love it. <gasps> There's Boo. So, yeah. And that one, I'm just going to show you the cover. So this is a Dragon Ball Super one. This is Dragon Ball Z. I haven't colored in any, any of these yet. This is a One Piece one. I have not finished One Piece. One Piece is like two bazillion episodes. <laughs> um, Pokemon. This always throws me off when I look at this and it says Pocket Monsters. I mean, that's what Pokemon means, but it's just funny. Pokemon. I don't know who these girls are. I'm pretty sure it's from a show, a Japanese show. Well, an anime. Uh... Dreamy Crown, never seen it, but, excuse me, I don't usually talk this much, so I'm getting really tired from talking. Uh, those are not going to be in my use it up pile. This is a Pokemon coloring book and I love it so much, it's so cool. This is all famous pieces of art, are they? No, they're not. A lot of them are Van Gogh. Um, a couple of them that I see right now are Van Gogh. But it's all like famous pieces of art. But it's pokefied. I really wish it was single-sided images though. But it's okay. I still love it. I have uh, Disney The Little Mermaid. They're very detailed though. So. This one I think is from an anime called Sun Sunstar, maybe? Hug? Hug something? No, Sunstar is the the brand. From Hug. I don't know. I don't know what this is, but they're cute. Another Pokemon one. This is like a carnival themed Pokemon one, which is uh, so adorable. Look at that. Look, so cute. And this is a Beauty and the Beast themed one. Even has like a little stationary page in the back that you can cut out. It's cute. I have got three Lulu Mayo coloring books. I have a million llamas, a million cute animals, and a million sloths. 
this again was one of the very first coloring books I ever got. This is The Magic Path by Colorama and this is quite a few pages done in it. This is uh, illustrated by Nicolette Corley. I feel like I might need to go like page by page in this because there are a lot of pages colored in here. I really like how this page turned out. I used uh, Prismacolor mostly in here. I think there are maybe a page or two that aren't using Prismacolor. But I still really like all the images in here so I'm not worried about like necessarily I'm not really worried about this being like used up as quickly as possible but I do have quite a few pages in here so I should just keep going. Sorry if the lighting in here is not great, but yeah. this one was done with oh, some water-based markers. What are they? Um, crazy art, the crazy art water-based markers. They're kind of like the Crayola Super Tips. Uh, this is a whip that I keep forgetting is in here. So this is Prisma Colors. There's more in here, maybe. Mm. Is there? Yeah. There's another whip. There's this wolfy dude. I love this one. I love the colors, how bright it is. Uh, I guess this is a whip too. I kind of started it a little bit. Didn't get very far. Did this one. This one. I always forget how much I've done in here until I look through it. I remember, oh, I've done quite a bit in here. I still have a lot to go. Like, I haven't done most of it, obviously, but I have made some pretty decent progress in there. This is Amazing Life Collection by Coloring Book Cafe. So this is one of those, like, compilation books. It's got four coloring books in one. So it has country life, cabin life, beach life, and island life all in one coloring book. The only difference between when you buy it in a collection like this and when you buy each coloring book individually is it doesn't come with doubles in this version, but I'm fine with that. I don't need the doubles. I don't, I don't care. I'm not the type of person that, oh, I saw moose in there. Huh, oh, the moose. I'm not the type of person usually that's like, oh man, I really don't like how this page turned out. I need to color it again. Usually I'm just like, if I don't like how it turned out, I just move on and get over it. Um, so I don't necessarily need doubles. So I'm perfectly fine with the having this collection book. Cute Animals by Jade Summer. I have colored in here a little bit. Uh, my son and I did a buddy color in here. Where is it though? He got to, I have this whip. Um, believe it or not, I have used Crayola colored pencils in here and I feel like it's turning out really, really well. Like the blending is not too bad. Uh, this is the buddy color that we did. Um, he, he says this is the, the completed, you know, turnout. He got to choose all the colors and he got to choose where, or yeah, he got to choose where they went. So this is what we ended up with. So that's cute. <laughs> Um, I believe this one does have doubles, though. I thought it did. I thought it had, like... 
the maybe I'm wrong I could have sworn though I could have sworn oh yeah there it is versus the one I did already yeah so there's there's doubles they're exactly the same too sometimes the doubles will be like one's more detailed than the other but no Uh, coloring the 50s by Benden. I actually really like this coloring book so I'm like usually the Benden books I'm I'm pretty much like uh I could color in it use it up get it out that's fine but this one I actually really like all the images they're very 50s themed and retro and I'd like to take my time on this one. Effing adorable by Heather Land. I have colored a page in here. This one I used um, Crayola colored pencils. I think that's the only one I've colored in here so far. <sighs> Coloring book for adults, Women and Wolves by Blondia, Blondea, I don't know how you pronounce that. But um, these are like weird and like half grayscale, half not grayscale. And I don't mean like half the book is grayscale and half of it is not because that would have made more sense. But like the images are like half the image has grayscale and half the image doesn't. And then the part that does have grayscale, the grayscale looks really random and doesn't look properly placed and it's kind of sloppy and like this is just not what I was expecting when I bought this so I'm in the like the line art is, in my opinion is very sloppy and I'm not a fan of it so this is definitely going to go in my get it over with stack this is a visco girl coloring book by Danny Cates and I think these are really cute and funny. So those will go in my regular stack. This is Flower Shop Beautiful Blooms to Color by Kappa Adult Coloring. Um, I actually really like the images in here. Uh, usually this like thin newspapery type paper I would just um, put it in my color it and use it up stack but I actually really like the images in here I'm gonna get the same problem with this coloring book as I did with all of these ones it's are these kappa too but this is designer series and it's in the same font so I'm assuming this is also kappa yes it is so they're the same brand and I'm sure that's why the paper is the same but I actually like these images, so I'm not going to worry about trying to use it up super fast. This is Cosmic Cats and Other Galactic Things by Crayola. The images are just super cute. Animals in space. Harry Potter Magical Creatures Coloring Book by Scholastic. I actually don't like the images in here as much as I thought I was going to, but um, it's okay. Creative Haven Year in Flowers coloring book. The Cosmic coloring book by Mecca Woods. Um... This can go in my use it up stack. Um, let's see. The Bob Ross, or the official Bob Ross coloring book by Universe. Um, super cool. There's another one that's like the Four Seasons or something like that. I don't have that one, but I want it. Um, and here's my second Bob Ross paint with water coloring book, or painting book. I don't know what you would call it, but there's that. And then my William Shakespeare 
uh, coloring book by Odessa Begay. I actually really like this one. I think it's super cool. Okay, I finally have my last stack of coloring books to share with you. I'm actually getting a little bit overwhelmed, so I'm really happy with my whole use it up plan. This is To the Moon, illustrated by Sarah Yoon. This is the tallest coloring book in the world, extends to 15 feet. This coloring book is so cool, but also so intimidating. <laughs> Uh, it literally extends out to be 15 feet long. It's one giant page that's like folded into sections. It is very cool, but again, very intimidating. And the the um, like higher up you you go, the darker it gets because you know you're getting closer to the the outer space, and then you go all the way up to the moon. And she does have other, at least one other coloring book like this that like folds out. Um, and that one's really cool. And I want that one too, but I need to get, get through some of these other ones before I start buying more. <laughs> Got a bunch of Johanna Basford coloring books. Um, honestly, there are a few, a couple maybe, I don't know. I don't own all of them, I don't think. There may be one or two that I don't have but I want to own all of them because they are beautiful. Despite the fact I haven't colored in a single one yet because they are very, like oh, this page with all the beetles. I love that page so much, but again, they're kind of intimidating. I haven't colored in them yet. And that some of our earlier ones have like, or at least this one has some like activity type bits in it and I'm just, that's not my jam. So, I don't know. But I'm definitely going to color in, color in it eventually. I found a secret garden. Did I even say the secret garden? This is Enchanted Forest. Um, the paper in this book is very yellow. Like very very yellow which is a little off-putting but I will still color in it world of flowers worlds of wonder lost ocean Magical Jungle. And Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. I love this one. I think it's really cool that it's basically a like color your own storybook. I would love other coloring books that are like this. I've got um, Pop Manga cute and creepy coloring book by Camilla Derrico. Uh, I don't think I've colored anything in here yet. And then I have the original pop ma manga, manga, pop manga coloring book by Camilla Derrico and I have colored a page in here. I used my watercolor pencils. I don't like how her mouth turned out. It, the way the paint dried, it ended up looking super weird, but otherwise I think it came out pretty cute. Classic comic coloring book, sci-fi and horror. So I've got two. I've got this one, the classic comic coloring book. I don't think I've colored anything in this one yet, but it's just like old classic comic covers. And these are so freaking cool. I love them so much. And for some reason, like the typography on these, it just gets me. I don't know what it is. Like, I love it so much. So I've got that, but this one, I have colored a few pages in here. Um, hopefully I don't forget any. So there is this one. 
And I did, for the most part, try and stick to what the actual comic book covers look like. So these are like reproductions of actual existing comic book covers, um, which I think is even cooler that that's the case. I might need to like kind of thumb through all the pages because I feel like last time I tried to film this, I missed some pages in this coloring book in particular when I was trying to show it. So I've done these two. And for all of these, I used my um, Crazy Art water-based markers. I just love how bright they came out. I love this one. I love the colors on it. This one I did use uh, Prismacolor for the for some of the stuff because I didn't have the right colors and I wanted to try and match as as closely closely as I could. That's that one. My memory card is running out and my battery is dying at the same time. I did these two. I really like like that one. I think that's all I've done in here so far and then I have a uh, classic comic dot to dot horror and sci-fi and um, uh, my plan is to do the dot to dot and then color it so I haven't done anything in there yet though I have Phantomorphia by Kirby Rosanis Geomorphia by Kirby Rosanis. I'm trying to remember which one I did something in. I think it was Imagimorphia. There's Anamorphia. Uh, Fragile World. Colormorphia, which is a compilation of some images. Like, it's, I don't know favorite images or I don't know it's, it's a compilation of some of the images from other like his, all his other books worlds within worlds and Imagimorphia and this one I have colored something in I, col I colored something in. I've colored two pages in here I think where did it go I just saw it did this double page spread which was the t-rex which i'm really happy with how he came out um i used my um crazy art markers and then i did this page also with my crazy art markers I've got the Modern Cottage Collection by Jen Racine. Uh, Cosplay Cats by here as well. And Uncommonly Cute Animals also by Jen Racine. I got a few coloring he uh, heaven uh, magazines. This is Steampunk Special. Fairy Stories Special. I have colored a page in here which was a buddy color, if I can find it, there it is. Uh, Nouveau Fairies Special, Mermaids Special, and Dreamtime Special. Uh, Fantastic Cities by Steve McDonald, I think. I think I'm, there might be one more book in this series that I'm missing. I think there's four total. But I've color, cover, covered, colored the cover page, or the title page, I guess. Um, let's start from the back so I can just flip through. This car page took me so long. Like, this drove me insane. Um, this page is done. This one's a whip. 
feel weird calling pages a whip when it's like I barely colored anything but technically it is because I started it there's those pages this one's a whip this one I need to hurry up and color this page because the colored pencil is starting to transfer. I did that one. I think this might have been the first actual page that I did in here because I think I did the title page first. This one is a whip. And I also have uh, Fantastic Stru Structures by Steve McDonald um, and Fantastic Collections. I don't think I've done anything in either one of these other ones yet. The Book of Beasts. Um, this is illustrated by Angela Riza. I haven't done anything in here yet, but this book is really cool. And then my final coloring book. I'm only sharing the ones that I that aren't complete, obviously. Um, but this is actually no. I have a couple other ones to show you after this, but they're I forgot they're over there because I'm working on them right now. This is Color Your Own Masterpiece by uh, Marion Augustin, Augustine or something, and Violet Benillon. Uh, I'm, I'm the worst. So these are kind of like the Thomas Kincaid ones where it has the original art piece on one side and then the line art on the other. But this one um, actually gives you information on the piece and um, the artist and everything, which is just super so super cool um so there's that one and i have a few others so i've got two cute coloring book uh don't even know who this is by the publisher is leisure arts and it's a like a notebook coloring book hybrid and then I have Kaleidoscope, Coloring, Llamas, and more. Pokemon, Coloring Adventures by Scholastic. And I do have one page colored in here, which is that one. And then I have the Pip Sticks, Color Your Own Stickers. Um, and I count this in my coloring books. I haven't colored any of them yet, which I really need to. Uh, but anyway, that is it. Those are all of my coloring books. I wish you guys could see the stacks on the floor right now. They are huge and a little bit, a lot bit overwhelming. Um, but yeah, that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing my coloring book collection. Um, if you did, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time. Bye!